God bless you all. Dave here with a special Thanksgiving message on behalf of the Resurrection Center with pastors Jose and Melly Martinez and the entire leadership team. Yes, it's that time again. I've got a turkey in the oven right now as I record this, and I have already made the pies. I'm very thankful. Let's look at a scripture that commonly reminds us to be thankful. Luke chapter 17, verse 15 through 16. Again, Luke chapter 17, verse 15 through 16. And the scripture says, But one of them, seeing that he was healed, returned with a loud voice and gave glory to God. He fell face down at his feet, thanking him. And he was a Samaritan. And that's in Luke chapter 17, verse 15 through 16. You see, this story is a reminder of our need to praise and thank Jesus for his healing power, mercy, and grace. One of the many traditional readings for Thanksgiving Day is from Luke chapter 17. It's a powerful story, a very powerful story that reminds of us of not only being thankful, but the fact that we sometimes forget to be thankful. Yes, we forget to be thankful. It tells the story of 10 lepers who were healed of a terrible disease in those days. They were healed by Jesus. Yes, he restored their lives through healing. Lepers in Jesus' day were social outcasts. They came to Jesus and asked to be healed. They wanted good health and not to be social outcasts anymore. When 10 lepers encountered Jesus in the scripture, they desperately asked him to show them mercy. Jesus tells them to go show themselves to the priest. While they were on their way, they realized they have been healed. These 10 men, had been forbidden to enter their own villages, to live in their own homes, to work in their own jobs, or even touch their own children. Imagine what being an outcast is like, especially in those days. If you were a leper, imagine that. Now, imagine the joy they must have felt when they realized they have been healed. Well, that is very much worthy to be thankful for. One of the 10, returns to give thanks to Jesus, as we read in the scripture. Yes, that's right. Only one of the 10 returns to give thanks to Jesus, but the other nine go on their way without saying anything. The scripture makes note that the one who returned was a Samaritan. Jesus gave this incredible gift of healing to these men, but only one returns. The thought is this, for every 10 people who are grateful, only one will express it. There are probably more people who are appreciative, but they have failed to express it. In the story of Luke chapter 17, the purpose of pointing this out is that the Samaritan, I should say, the Samaritan would have seemed to have been the least likely to return. One of the lepers, a Samaritan, stopped and ran back to thank Jesus. Samaritans were normally shunned by the Jews, but Jesus had healed him. Jesus asked him, where are the others? You see, 10 lepers had been healed. 10 lepers were in celebration of their restored good health. 10 men were joyfully rushing to share the good news with those they loved but not to Jesus, but only one, just one, considered the source of that blessing and stopped to thank and worship the one who had given him back his life. Being thankful should be a foundational part of our lives. It must be. Thankfulness is a conscious response that comes from looking beyond our blessings to the source. Yes, the source of the blessings. Saved through Christ and serving as true Christians, we have been forgiven, saved from death, and adopted as God's children. We are heirs of the kingdom with eternal salvation. There could be no better reason for a grateful heart. Don't you agree? We too have been healed and made whole by the Savior. 
we are free to enjoy the abundant life the Savior has graciously, with mercy, given us. But yes, but many of us rush off so quickly to enjoy our blessings without stopping to thank God, who is the source of our blessings. God looks for our thanks, our worship, prayers, and service. Yes, service. And daily life ought to be filled with thanksgiving to God and for God. A scripture reminds us of this. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And that's in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. You see, we all have a lot to be thankful for. On behalf of pastors Jose and Melly Martinez of the Resurrection Centers, our ministers and leaders, may you know that you are all appreciated and may you all be blessed. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving holiday. My name is Dave.